Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, it's your boy, Cousin Terry, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I did a poll a few days ago talking about what story time you guys wanted to hear, because I haven't done one in a long time. So, I wanted to do this one. It was like, like a first experience for me. So, I wanted to talk about my first encounter with the police. So, alright, so boom, here's how it happened. Uh, back, back when I was around, like, in Portage High School, like, when I was, like, in high school, like, like, every time, like, it, recently, I haven't been going straight home, right, at, at the school. Like, sometimes I would just go around, you know, go, go visit some other places, you know. So, one time, right, I had to stay at the school for an, I think it was some sort of activity. I think it was, I, I was doing volunteer work at, at the school, because it, because I was there at the, at the night. So, so there was this big you know chili festival where I had to you know help cater and serve people like some food some chili food to people. So, so here's what happened after we I did the whole event you know I helped out some of my classmates and wiped up cleaned up and everything. Uh, I just I had to walk home because both my parents they wasn't at home like I think both of them were at work at, on that time, but me I always. Because when they, both of them, at, every time I get home from school, no one's there. So, I decided, so, during that time, I used to go straight to somewhere else before I go home. to spend some time to study. So, after the chili event, I had to walk home. It was somewhere around, it was getting around dark that time, around the fall. So, I walked, right? I was walking, like, it, I always go to Starbucks. I mean, you know, I was going to going to Starbucks, you know, just to chill out for it, chill out and stuff, to watch videos, so I, so as I was just, you know, watching videos, just, just doing that as my hangout spot, you know, just minding my own business, it was getting, like, kind of dark outside, so I was like, you know what, I should go home, because they was getting ready to close, they was getting ready to close up the shop, so I headed home, right, so I'm walk, so as I'm walking, right, I'm walk past, like, a supermarket, and I start going home, right, there was this, like, there was this building, like, this building's still up, so there was this building, right, like, no one's been in there, eh? like, no, I don't see nobody go in or out, so I walked, I decided to take a shortcut to walk around the building, and then, you know, as I walked around the building, it was helping me get past thing, so I can get back home faster, eh? and then, out of, out of nowhere, I see a black car on, coming from my left really fast, it was coming like at me super fast, especially it was at a parking lot too. Like there, were, like it was an open parking lot. There was no other cars. It was just the building and in the parking lot straight home. So as I get there, a black car just straight up roll up at just pulls up towards me at full speed. Like it was, a, it was like an all black charger, like and it had no lights or nothing. So as this car was approaching me, two things are going through my my mind. It was either a I was about to get robbed, or I was like I was scared. My like, one part wanted me to run. My my instincts that I wanted to run. That was my first thought, but but I was so scared that I froze. Like two things are going to my mind: either I'm about to lose my life, or I'm even about to get questioned, or I'm about to get robbed. Because that was my first encounter with someone that actually came up towards me, like in the car. That I didn't know, that I didn't recognize. So the car pulls up right beside me, roll down the window. It's two cops. They, they got the light on me. They asking me, "Hey, did you just come out of that building?" I was like, "No, I, I walked around it. You know, I took, I took the way around from the driveway." It was like, "Oh, oh, okay, okay. What you doing? Around, what you doing around here in the middle of the night?" I was like, "You know, just about to head home." So luckily, they believed me. They let me go. They said, okay, be safe. So they rolled up the window and they took off driving. So, yeah, they, whew, man, those two cops, literally, that was my first time ever in getting into it with a cop. Like, yeah, like a cop question, questioning me. Like, I was so nervous and that, and that just happened out of left field. Like I, like, I stood there, I stood there for a good minute and then I just went straight home. I didn't do nothing for the rest of that night. I didn't even bother going outside for the rest of the night. 
But yeah, it was look, yeah, my first ever encounter with a cop. And which was scary, especially since I'm like in, I'm like in a suburban neighborhood and I'm African American, which was really scary for me. Because, you know, like, I have no trouble with no cops. I never done anything out of the ordinary. But, yeah, that was my, this is my story time about my first encounter with police. Like, it was pretty short, but I, I didn't want to, like, just, just, like, drag it way more farther than it needs to be. But, yeah, man, that's my story time, my first encounter with the police. But, yeah, thank you guys for listening, listening to this and watching. And, um... I hope you guys enjoyed this video and, uh, and tune in like next week when I'm about to unbox my PC that I've had. I'm planning on mo selling my PS4 away. But in the meantime, thank you all so much for all this love and support. I love y'all. Y'all have a good night. Be safe and keep God. Because at the end of the day, here's your mod. I love y'all and then peace out.